I get asked this question a couple times a week, John, what kind of people do you follow on social media? Who do you learn from? Hey guys, John Millen with Benefit Hackers. I wanted just to do a quick post. And um, I get this, ask, this question asked a few times. It's like, who you follow and who you listen to, who you learn from. There's so much peop so many people out there, so much noise sometimes about getting information. And uh, I just wanna give you three people that we have been following that I personally have been following for quite some time and they offer different perspectives. So I um, hope this is valuable. Number one, I follow Gary V or Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk is the CEO of VaynerMedia. Um, if you're not familiar with him, he's got a very in your face type approach. <laughs> Warning, he does use profanity in a major way. Um, initially, when I first started listening to him, it really just, I, I couldn't handle it. Um, so what I would suggest is if you're going to listen to that and you have little kids like I do, you may want to not want to do it on a podcast in your car when your kids are in the back seat wondering why they're swearing and you're trying to teach them not to. With that being said, his content and his message is so impeccably on point. This is what I follow Gary for. He's taught us and me specifically how to not judge ourselves when putting out content on social media and to focus on the other person, not focus on us, which was very hard for me to do. When I first started vi doing videos, I was posting them on Vimeo um, two years ago, maybe two and a half years ago. It was very awkward. It still is kind of awkward, but listening to him has got my mindset right. Like, hey, if you're going to say something, make sure it's good content, make sure it's you and it's authentic. And so he's really taught me how to keep that message true because I tend to sway off track like anybody does. So Gary is really good. I'll give you a tip for Gary's stuff. If you like podcasts, there's actually a podcast that's called Curse Free Gary V. And that's what I listen to because I'm in the car and if my kids are in the backseat, I want to maybe if we're driving to somewhere or doing something and it's maybe playing in the background, I want them to be able to not be distracted by that. So they, they bleep out all the curse words. It's really good. Um, curse Free, Free by Gary V. It's a podcast. Second, from a sales and marketing standpoint, been following Grant Cardone for quite a while. Um, Grant is another individual when I first learned about him about three years ago, I did not like him, but I was judging him based on his personality and his directness, not on his message. And that was my deal. That was my fault. Um, it was because I couldn't handle it that I made it bad that it was his issue that it's something wrong with him. But he's got an amazing way of explaining the right way to uh, work through a sales process, not a manipulative process, not trying to just uh, pull one over on people, but being authentic. You will learn a lot from Grant Cardone. You've got to dig in. There's multiple mediums. You got to find the medium that resonates with you. Um, for instance, Instagram, if you're trying to learn sales techniques, may or may not be the right medium. You may want to follow him on his podcast, or you may want to go to their YouTube channel and watch specific clips about how he trains people in his office and how they overcome objections and how they do that in a very professional way. So understand the different platforms are built for different reasons. So don't get discouraged if, for instance, you're on um, Twitter for some reason and you see something and you don't like it. It's because that content might have been adjusted for that platform. So you got to find the right platform. Same with LinkedIn. LinkedIn's content is going to be a little different the way they package it than maybe on Instagram or uh, Facebook, for instance. So Grant Cardone is amazing um, just in sales and marketing and his 10x rule about doing things bigger and better and helping more people is phenomenal. The third person, from a business strategy, growth, and people leadership development type concept, I know I've bottled a lot of that together, is Brandon Dawson. Now you might have heard of Brandon Dawson through his affiliation with Grant Cardone. You might not have. If you haven't, I encourage you to dig in a little bit and look at his story and what he has done in his career is phenomenal. I've had the pleasure of meeting uh, Brandon a few times and also having uh, training sessions with him for two full days, he and his team um, at 10X 360, and it's phenomenal. And he teaches you how, from a leadership standpoint and a working with people and how to grow a business the right way without it imploding on itself, those tactics and skills. And I will tell you, when I first had him train us, some of it was going over my head. I was like, oh God, I'm not grasping it. It's like the dots were not connecting and that's okay because I realized that's my deal. 
I need to listen to it again, ask him like, okay, why am I not getting this? It's because in my brain, whatever he was saying was not connecting. So don't push that back on the, the, the last tip I'll say is don't push that back on the person you're listening from. If you're not understanding it, it's, it's on us to say, okay, am I meant to learn this? And if I'm not learning it, why? There's a, there's a disconnect in my thinking. Not that what they all say is true and you do everything they say. It's that if you don't understand what they're saying and you still do it anyways and you just keep going down that road with not fully understanding, you may be in trouble. Some of it's blind faith. We do some things like, hey, okay, I trust you. And then finally it comes through. I'm like, ah, now I see. But understand, you, you may not have it all figured out when you go down this path with different trainers and mentors, right? They may say, do this. And you're like, why? And they explain it and you don't understand. They say, do this. You're like, okay. And then through that process, you understand. So I hope this is valuable. Gary Vaynerchuk, Grant Cardone, Brandon Dawson. Um, I've really tried to use Grant's wisdom of saying, don't get too many mentors. You will get confused. If you have three people you're watching or following or five people about finances, you will be confused because they will say conflicting things and you do nothing. So pick one. Stay with them for a while. Find the medium that you resonate with. I do a lot of podcasting, listening, which is why we started a podcast. Um, I like YouTube because I can search on it. It's a search engine, so I can find a topic and then watch a video. Um, Instagram is more scrolling. Facebook, I'm not on a lot. Twitter, I don't use it all, at all. Uh, LinkedIn, I use, but I find myself getting buried into LinkedIn too deep, and I find myself an hour later still just reading stuff and and, and kind of wasting time sometimes. So use the right platforms for whatever you're looking for, but don't have too many mentors. That's what Grant has taught us and it's worked out really well. Hope this is helpful. Uh, let me know your comments below.